Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart here. Log of Hulin 11, Offerman, Toasted, Charred, no, Charred Cask Series. Charred See, Oak. It's got yeah. little sparks on it, and it's like a fireside. Uh, and Lark Fire Water. Ooh, Lark Fire. We're going to test it. Log of Hulin, Lark Fire style. Scotchity Scotch style. <laughs> All right. All right. Log of Hulin. So this is the third Offerman edition, I believe. And I think it's been two years since they came out with one, probably because of COVID. Genius. But we had the nor the first was 11-year Offerman, and then there was the 11-year Offerman finished in Guinness barrels. Right, which was interesting. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of views on that. I liked it. This one, Charred Cast Series. Mm. Uh, 750 milliliter bottle. We got to start stating that sure. now, I think, on our review so people yeah. know. And the difference in the is states, 750. we're getting 750. Right. Sometimes 46% ABV. Still decent. You've had this open. You've tasted this. Yes. Me and Matt tried it at the liquor store. Ooh, Lord. So now. I'll pull uh, this while you explain the Lark Fire. Non sponsored here. Non sponsored. Jacques. Jacques. Jacques, the uh, Hood Sommelier. Oh, uh, not Cousteau. No. <laughs> he sent us these and he just said, hey, this is Lark Fire, wild water for whiskey. Uh, try it. If you like it, post about it. God, that smells delicious. If you don't, don't. We haven't even tried it. We said, let's try it uh, with the Lagavulin. I think with this all marketing, is, we could we could have now, dummy water. I brought two glasses out here so we can just taste the water. Oh, okay. And see I wonder what, what you're like. doing. Uh, it's this is to taste like still water from the Hebrides right. in Scotland. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hebrides. We're going right. to try it with the Lagavulin. Very neutral. Nothing. Very neutral. Very nothing. flat. Just yeah, water. Clean. Yeah. Clean. No clean, crisp. Nothing sparkling. No. No. Contaminants. Flavors at all. I don't know if contaminants, but no lime. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Tastes like water with no aftertaste, nothing to add in, which is what the idea is. You're not uh, disrupting your spirit. What'd you get? Calcium? Well, no, there is. There's a. Uh, What'd you get? Maybe a calcium mineral type just Salt on the back Peter. end. Salt Peter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Something from the Hebrides. Get that God, out the way. It smells good. I spilled a little bit. I can get like toasted. So toasted, burnt. We've got some stuff here on, on Lark Fire, wood. but you can you can go look it up. You landed that. Lark Fire, yeah. wild water for whiskey. Time to switch. Oh now they do have a sparkling water as well for like if you were doing a cocktail. Oh, wow. Lark fire sparkling water. Got a little bubbly. Or a little bubbly in it. Wild water. We got the wild water. Hmm. We're going to see if there's, if it makes our whiskey better. <laughs> Charred oak cast. People are like, get to the review, get to the review. Yeah, we didn't, Except we didn't for click Fire. on this. Yeah, Lark Fire was like, no, keep, keep talking. talking about the water. Keep talking. Other people Ooh. like, stop talking about the water, talk about the, the, the whiskey. Sp I know. Smoky peanut. Oh, I know. It's all over my hands. That's delicious. Vanillas? Yeah. Oh. Mm. You know what that reminded me of? Mm. The 2017 12 year log of Ulan, the cast strength one that was had so much vanilla mm. cask influence. Wow, that's a, that's really nice. Really nice vanillas in there. This has Smoky. got smoked peanut all over it. Yeah, yeah I snuck a peanut. taste. I snuck a taste. <laughs> There's the peanut here. It's roasted smoked peanut shell. And it's still lingering with more of the earthy, sooty smoke afterward. Mm -hmm. But it's peanut on the forefront. Ugh, sooty, ashy smoke on the finish. This is delicious. <laughs> wow. I didn't know if you liked this one or not. There, so there is, and I'm still getting, I got it when we cracked it uh, yeah. in the liquor store. The charred cast. Mm -hmm. We did, you know, Ardbeg Scorch, which was way overdone. Mm -hmm. All these charred, retoasted, like charred barrels. Fire. 
there's there's hints of it here, but this is much better done. I think there's a little bit of that charred cask, that that smoked wood, really. Yeah. But there's also it is almost a earthier. Yes. Uh, Isla peat that's oh, in there yeah. along with touch, it. Touch a little touch of iodine, but it's light. It's not overpowering. Get a little touch of iodine in the middle. God, that's good. Mmm. The peanut, roasted peanut on the open, and the typical kind of peat sooty finish on the end with a, just a hint of that iodine in the middle is nice, nice, nice. So you were worried coming in that they maybe were going to do some kind of overcharred oak thing like the scorch? I had, I had when, when I saw it and I bought it, I hadn't even seen anything prior to seeing it in the store being the charred cask series. Sure. And when I saw it, I thought, mm, yeah, let's see that how kind of? that is compared to the Ardbeg mm -hmm. Scorch. Mm -hmm. I think this is much, the Ardbeg Scorch was just way overdone. It was way too much charred cask influence. It was just, it just tastes like burnt wood. Yeah, so that was the like. first time I was disappointed with Ardbeg. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was like excited and then crestfallen. This one though, I am getting there's um there's there's a lot of that like I say that 2017 12 year Ardbeg or Lagavulin uh, kind of that vanilla here going on. Yeah. There's um there's something I'm still trying to suss out this underlying on the tail end finish that I'm getting here, but nice peat though. Hints vanilla. of hints vanilla. of charred yeah. hints of the charred cask. Not overdone. It's it's nice. It's in there nice with the peat with the Lagavulin peat. Yeah. It's, Peanuts, really almost Kalilish style, you know, smoked roasted peanut. Right. I missed a button. Ah. You can see the falcon. <laughs> I like this. I like this neat. I haven't added the lark fire water. Nor yet. have I. Let me do it. I love the uh, stainless steel straw. Got to see how much I got here. There we mm -hmm. go. Do you want to drop? Didn't shoot it. So... That's good. There's neat. A, that is phenomenal meat. There's a sweetness in here, some sort of a fruit. Really? It's like on a the, little on vanilla the, sweetness. On the tail end in there. It's almost almost salty, almost maritime. Yeah. Into the sea. Yeah. Malty, charred cask, earthy peat, vanillas, mm. toasted oak. Wait till you try the water. The water changes the salted peanut open more into a salty, seaweedy smoke. The I would say the peanut disappeared on the forefront mm. and went toward that more saltiness. Mm. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. I don't. I thought. I think it brings out the vanilla more and even the sweetness. But yeah, sub, the the roasted peanut is down. Yeah, then salt almost is up. Almost more vanilla. Almost more sweet. And right here on the tail end, I'm getting something again. Just trying to figure out what this note is. Mm. That's interesting. What's weird is I like this both ways. I like that salty roasted peanut. Actually, less salty, more just roasted peanut. And now it's more of a salty, briny the, open. So I'm going to say I'm going to have to find a container to put the water in so we can reuse it. That would be the only drawback here is this can. Once you've opened oh, it. Well, then you can't reseal it. Just drink it. I only got two. I don't think you need to preserve it. <laughs> I think it's pretty much water is what it is. And I'm sure they examined that. I mean, that would be the only thing with me. I think you need a resealable bottle of some sort so you can use a little bit of it, reseal it, put it See, on the shelf. But then the plastic leaches into it. Glass. <laughs> and then it's fancy. Can you seal? No, you can put a lid on an aluminum can. I mean, oh, uh, you beers. Can do anything now. Beers do it. Beers do it. Beers, yeah. I got screw top aluminum bottles. That might be something Lark Fire you have to look at. Wow. Um. It's wow. Like pop top. This is good. If you like that roasted nut peanut with the salty briny layerings that are along in there. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't feel like I'm missing a fruit or anything. Kumquat? <laughs> no, I just knew that was a funny word. Platypie? <laughs> so, ah, oh, this is good though. This is nice. Way to go with another Offerman edition. Always hitting home. Always. Very nice. Very nice. 
That's funny. I had not even thought about charred oak cask, and I hadn't thought about that uh, scorched in a while. Yeah. I was in a few. I was wondering how this one would hit you, actually. Good, so. good to know. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I think this one's a lot better. I was in a corner in a fetal rocking after I had the scorch because I expected so much. And then it was like, ugh, tastes like a house fire. <laughs> that was the scorched. It might be it might be a little bit of a tropical fruit that I'm getting in there with the vanilla, with all the with the char, with the peat. It might be just a you little know bit of maybe a not the full flavor, but I can see a little bit of a grilled pineapple. Yeah. Mm, okay. I could see that a little bit. It's not as mm -hmm. tropical as that pineapple, but a touch of it. I could see that. Almost I like was, the skewer that had it on there, you skewered some more steak, and then I was like, hey, I'm getting a little something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, oh, I had pineapple on there for yeah. the first round. I would go, bam. Yeah. I was thinking mango, maybe cantaloupe, but wow. grilled pineapple. It's okay. along it's along those lines. Okay. I think that's what it is that I was trying to. All right, I could see I could see cantaloupe because it's that it's almost the smell of the cantaloupe when you cut it open, though not the flavor, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yet it's the flavor from the whiskey bringing the smell of the cantaloupe. That's bizarre, but I I know exactly what you're talking about. That's so good. I was going to dump this, but I can't. <laughs> 90. I'll go 90 with you. Yeah. That's good. That peak coming through. Um, it's the roasted peanut with the brine. So uh, most people know that have watched me long enough. If you add in that, that wet tobacco, God, I go crazy on that. But this is probably my second favorite is when you get into those briny, roasted, peanutty, sooty mm -hmm. versions. So yeah. very good. If you so, like the peat, you're going to like this. Um, where what? do you think we are uh, price-wise? Geez, the Offerman's so popular and the way you did the little cringe. I would like to say 120. Mm. Oh, God, I'm below it. <laughs> so that means it's 160. 85 dollars. What? Shut the! <laughs> I almost cursed. I almost cursed. I had to you say yes for that. One. Yeah, you did. I was like, dang. <laughs> yeah, I know. That even a surprised steal, me. Baby. That's a steal. Because they had it out on the shelf, but the wow. price tag wasn't on there. So I'm like, well, I'm picking it up anyway. So I bought it, and then I was looking at the receipt later, and I was like, holy Ooh. Nikes! Wow. Yeah. Great. Uh, mm. Yeah. Great. Great buy. Um, great whiskey, and and. Great buy. This should have been one you bought two of. Oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> Scotch it. Oh, you, go to patreon.com. Oh, good. I thought we were oh, just move it. Yeah. I'm, 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 Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>